welcome to my opinion here on my opinion tv don't forget to like share subscribe and click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified and so far we want to look at a situation um taking place well we're going to look at three situations two involving robberies and one the unfortunate death of a man in saint andrew and i'm reading from loop and i'll give you the video footage courtesy of loop it says a frantic search is on the way for a teenage girl who is believed to have been trapped under the rubble of her house which crumbled on friday morning in shooters hill saint andrew amidst heavy rainfall her father was located and his name is romeo leachman he was reportedly found dead at the scene the young lady who i understand to be 15 years old has not been um recovered yet and the me the met office says light to moderate and at times heavy showers and thunderstorms occurred across section of most parishes during the night and the rain is still falling based on what i'm hearing and especially across eastern and south central parishes and a flash flood watch is in effect in all parishes so i'm going to give you some video video fit footages of incidents of flooding and heavy rains and i'm also going to show you the incident in which um romeo leachman lost his life and a resident talking about the situation <laughs> At this, I go on a shoot as a liner and a tour girl, you know. My name is Ayasa, the host today, you know. And you slide down, come all the way down, you say, brother. The man and his daughter, you see the man there, right? they saw dead in there, you know. And then they are searching the daughter. At home um, this morning, about 7.30 the most, we understand um, Romy and his daughter, uh, we lived together for quite a while. There was a landslide on top of him, and that landslide um, teared on a wall, fell into the house itself. And um, as a result of that, they came tumbling down into saw another neighbor's house. Uh, we found him wrapped between a tree, uh, one of them, Kasha tree. The citizen cut him out. But then um, we are trying now frantically to find the data. We don't know exactly where the data is. We suspect the data could be somewhere beneath the mud and the rubble behind the, the, his neighbor's house. So we are here around trying to see how well we can um, get him. What's up? Yeah. No more than I know the whole Alright, so people, this is out by seven miles at Arbor View. There is currently a traffic standstill. Given the amount of water that is on the road, the traffic has backed up. I'm um, right back. I am over by St. Benedict's. I'm trying to show you behind. So that is where the traffic is going. So there is a three-lane traffic going one way up. So the land has finally given way and it's getting worse. That hill, um, this is by seven miles going towards eight miles in Bull Bay. And trust me, the hill has given way. And this is now the road and everything is going into the sea. So this is the water coming from Shooter's Hill. And this is not a river in dry times but this is what it is in rain so there's a JUTC bus coming now just to give you a judgment of where the water is at look at the front of the bus <laughs> okay there you have it very unfortunate situation there um we hope that the young lady will be recovered we are hoping for the best expecting the worst but hoping for the best and we really send condolences to the family of Romeo Leachman. It's an unfortunate um, circumstances that took place there in Shooters Hill in St. Andrew. 
and we see the member of parliament um Juliet Olness really offering her own condolences the next topic we want to look at is two men were caught by the police trying to rob a business establishment um not sh too sure when this occurred or when it happened not too sure the name of the business establishment they went to rob but we're just going to give you video footage of that situation now my respect for your curfew now block people please yes, yeah man yeah man them surrender now uh, all right where phone then that's why I block people, please. No, that is not. You know. Where you come from? 42 Luclean. 42 Luclean. Where name? Kemar Black. Kemar Black. Since you don't live nowhere. I don't know plan to live nowhere and place so can go to live here. We get three meals a day, 24 hours secure. Once again, there you have it. And I don't know what is a driving force behind some of these young, strong, healthy men. Why they don't go and look a job somewhere, learn a skill somewhere. Instead, they plan to live their life like this by prowling on people's business place and innocent people and other people rob, steal and destroy and do all manner of evil when it is easier for them to go out and try to learn a skill and find a job. But guess what? This is how they try to live their life and a lot of them will end up behind bars or end up being killed because guess what? They don't want to work for their hard earned cash. The other incident we want to look at is um, a situation that happened in Kingston where a man was jogging and he was held up by a man. Now the jogger defended himself. He actually knocked out the would-be robber and when he knocked him out he actually took away a homemade firearm from him the police was called in and he was taken in custody so you can have a look at this video Sooner than later. That's what you need. We don't want you now. Just want to see a unit come, sir, or a unit come, sir. That's all we need to see. Just one. Well, once again, it seems like robbing is the order of the day. And as I said in the, earlier, these young men don't intend to go find a job. So they try to approach and try to drive fear into residents and try to rob and steal. And guess what? It ain't putting them anywhere. But as I said, behind bars or end up, some will end up even in cut because they will not get away with every single thing they do. They try to rob, steal, drive fear and intimidate people by their, their behavior. When it is easier, much easier, they get up, try look a skill, try learn something, try to go out, get some bag juice, get something and sell and try to make an honest living for themselves. But no, instead, they plan to live their life trying to get stuff the easier way but that's how it is and thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time be safe be good and always remember look out for your loved one and also look out for a neighbor